What's going on you guys? This is Josh and welcome back to another Factions episode. Today I'm in the end, which turns out to be amazing. Um, I've actually cleared this whole thing out all the way down there to all the way down there. Um, I think this is like three inventories full of endstone right here. And so basically what I've been doing, I just went and sold my inventory and I've just been sort of ripping through here. Um, a stack of endstone sells for 60 bucks in the auction, or not the auction, in the shop. So as you can tell, I have 6,000 bucks right now. Um, which is a very good source of income considering I don't have any sort of farm set up or created. Um, but I do have big news for you guys. So MCO Braden, which is one of the guys I've done a few things with, he's ally in our allied faction of Omega PvP. He, um, we did some stuff and turns out today while I was gone doing stuff in real life with my friends, um, our faction got raided. And as you probably know, we really didn't have anything good laying out and about anything good that was remotely good i probably stole um so like honestly it probably wasn't a very good raid for them but it turns out it was omega pvp that raided us uh, they unallied us and enemied us and raided us and apparently they said they got the coordinates from someone that was um in our faction which they gave us a name but i'm not actually sure if it was him or not but either way um they got tp'd in because it was way too far to walk we were twenty thousand blocks away from spawn there's no way that they were going to uh, walk there. But either way, they got TP'd in. So let me take you to the F home. Um, but here's the kicker. Like I said, we did stuff together um, as far as like, I don't know, missions together. But yeah, we I took actually took all the sugar cane. I was gonna mine out all the obsidian from underneath, but um, he said, don't worry about it. And just sort of, he'll buy me three stacks of obsidian, he said, which is probably about the same amount that's under here. But literally everything got raided. They took creeper eggs and just went to town. They didn't have to claim anything or whatever. Um, unfortunately, yeah, all this stuff got take. Ooh, why would you guys leave that stuff there? I didn't actually know about this, so I'm gonna take some of this. Take that enchanting table string. Yep. Um, unfortunately, they killed Steve, which I kind of feel bad because you know, again, Steve is my friend. We get along. Um, yeah, they didn't get it. anything that's still in chests. They didn't get because they didn't claim anything. And oh, I'll take that. And as such, um, anything that they grabbed was just going to be stuff they blew up with um, creeper eggs. And so that's that. Tons of furnaces. But yeah, we got we got messed up basically. So I don't really mind because I was actually thinking tonight I was going to plant TNT everywhere anyways, mine the rest of the obsidian, and then just blow it all to Kingdom Come. But it's all good. Um, What's in here? I took all the uh, nether wart from in here. Probably, I don't know, we'll leave this old sand. But the other purpose of this video is I got a faction invite to his faction because, again, we did a lot of stuff together and we're still friendly. And so um, I did actually key him in on the fact that I wasn't really happy with mine tracks because we had a lot of people in here that, one, I didn't know, but two, they weren't really playing. And so here we go. I'm going to F leave. And we're going to F join Omega PvP. Now, that being said, I don't know what I think of Omega PvP. Because um, to be honest, again, I think... I'm going to explain this in an MCSG video. Um, it's probably already up at this point as you're watching this. But there's an age gap with the people that I hang out with. I'm not going to hang out with anybody, I'm sorry, that's more than like three or four years younger than me. If you're 15, we're probably not going to hang out simply for the purpose that, you know, the age gap is too much. Your sense of humor is going to be a lot different than mine. I actually jumped in a call with um, this guy, MCO Braden here, and he was like, hey, you want to hear my favorite artist or something? And he gave me like some troll video song where the guy was like just singing really terribly. Um, and he found it hilarious and so did his friend. But again, I was sitting there kind of awkwardly like, hey, yep, that's hilarious, dude. Because... You know, I don't find stupid humor that funny. I mean, I do on, like, movies and stuff. But, I mean, that's, like, funny stupid humor, not, like, childish stupid humor. So, like, no offense to anybody. But, again, if you're, like, younger than 15, if your voice is still kind of in the, like, freaking alto, soprano, alto. I don't know which one's high, which one's low, because I'm retarded. But, um, if your voice is still sort of in that high, I was promoted to moderator. Um can't use TP except in enemy territory. Can't use spawn in enemy territory. What about home? Can't use home. Okay, faction home. Um, 
change title to mod. Sweet. So, ooh. Oh yeah, this space. I've been here before. Um, so yeah, like I said, you know, if you're sort of that youngerness, we're probably not gonna get along just because we're too different. The age gap is too much. And like I said, I'm gonna make a video to go over this. Uh, me and Joey Ghost, we've talked about this before. Um, if you're 15 and I talk to you consistently and we get along, leave me alone, Skype. There's a reason for it. You're either really mature, you're not annoying. Or you're just not trying to get attention. You're not trying to be funny. So either way, I'm done ranting. That's my spiel. This is the faction. And there's... Whoa. Chests full of stuff. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to stay here. I don't think so because, like I said, sorry, but the age gap is a bit much. So what I might do is once I clean these guys out, if that is indeed the plan. Um, I was talking to Parkour150 and Mimecraft, who was in the uh, Minetracks faction, and we were talking about maybe making a, another faction, but keeping it the membership small with the idea of making it the next big faction. We're not going to try to make a huge faction, we're going to try to make a good faction, quality over quantity. So either way, that's it. Um, so there's a lot of chests here with just stuff that I'm going to eventually... Oh my gosh, look at all this. That I'm eventually going to go through. Um, but, yeah. Let's see, let me ask him... Um, he apparently has an iron golem farm. He has three iron golem spawners, which I think is going to be the best way to make money because we can sell iron ingots for a lot of money. Um, and I think it's going to be even better than all this endstone stuff. And so I think that's good. But again, I think we're going to raid the crap out of this place um, once I figure out what my plans are. And so that's that. Um, no action in this episode. There's really nobody on right now. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um... A lot of iron ingots, but um, she sold some 20 minutes, got 12k. Oh my gosh, so much money! So, I think the length of the time that I'm gonna stay in here is gonna be directly linked to the amount of time that I want to spend making money. But I think that's all I have to talk about this episode. Our faction got raided, I'm now in a new faction, and longevity of this probably non existent. <laughs> So, I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, though. A lot of changing, and unfortunately I wasn't around for the fighting. I don't know how that would have gone down if I was. I'm kind of happy that I wasn't around. So remember, connections are important. Get out of here. Connections are important. And so, with factions, always remember that the people you know are going to be the people that sort of help you succeed. And so, you might not like them. You might not plan on staying with them. But knowing people is going to definitely gonna get you far so either way hopefully you like this go ahead and drop a like if you did comment down below what you think of everything that's going on and uh subscribe if you're not all that good stuff look forward to the next episode it'll be out next week later guys